stupid AC. What's up guys? Welcome back. Listen, I couldn't wait any longer. I had to talk about this. There's a new game coming out and it's a new battle royal game, but it's unlike anything you've ever seen. I promise you. The, the, hold on. I was doing this super cool thing. Uh, it was the Devolver Expo digital thing. I popped a pimple and now it is bleeding. Just, uh, just ignore that. That Devolver Digital Expo thing, which was awesome, and I'll probably talk about it in another video because that in itself is pretty awesome, but there was this brand new game that I saw a trailer for, and it's called Fall Guys. It is the greatest Battle Royale game I think I've ever seen, and I'm so glad that Battle Royale has evolved to this point, okay? If you don't know what Fall Guys is, just, just look at this. Isn't it glorious? Amazing. Colors, beautiful. It's the most ridiculous battle royal game I've ever seen. I'm super hyped for it. I had no idea that I needed this in my life. I'll explain to you why. But in order to explain to you why, we gotta take it all the way back to WarioWare on the Game Boy Advance. So I love WarioWare, okay? And I promise this comes all the way, come. I promise this comes all the way back around. So WarioWare came out in 2003, and it's one of my favorite Game Boy games. When I first got it, it, it kind of blew my mind. So if you've never played WarioWare and you're living under a rock, I will explain it to you. So WarioWare is this game. It just consists of like many different micro games, okay? And they could be very simple things, ranging from jump over this hot dog on wheels, or stick a finger up your nose or whatever. It's just consisted of all these different little things, okay? These micro games. And pretty much you have different lives and uh, you have to go through and solve these different micro games. As you complete these very simple tasks, you progress on into harder levels. Usually it's the same micro games, but it goes faster and faster and eventually you can get to a boss fight. The boss fight consists of something kind of, I don't know, I don't remember them being too tough, but it's been a while since I've actually played it. Um, but you beat the boss and then you go on to the next level. You go on to these different characters and whatnot, and each character has many different micro games. And that that is essentially WarioWare. It was a really fun game. It's been a while since I've played, but I own it still. I own it somewhere, actually. Where did you go? Whatever, I can't find it. Anyways, <clears throat> fast forward a few years after that, I don't remember honestly when I got into it. So who remembers Valve's Team Fortress 2? Yeah, you know that game. It was that uh, really crazy shooter on Steam back when Valve used to make games. Uh, and it's super fun with all the different classes. And it was team versus team and you had the TDM and all that craziness, but oh, oh, oh. But if you just played the normal modes, Man, you were lame, okay? All the fun came from all the custom modes like the Death Run and the Prop Hunt and all that, right? But oh, my! one of my favorites was TF2Wear. WarioWare TF2 TF2Wear. I didn't say the name was creative, okay? But it's exactly what it sounds like. It was a TF2 game mode, or like custom game mode, where you played a bunch of different little micro games, just like WarioWare, but it was a little bit different than WarioWare. You had to do all these other things, like rocket jump as the soldier, or hit people with a thing, or jump and do the other thing. I don't remember what the micro games were, to be completely honest. It's been even longer since I played that. But what was cool about it is you you had a select amount of people. If you have failed to achieve one of the objectives in the micro games, you would then be knocked out. The micro games keep going and going and going until eventually you get to one last person, and then and that one person wins the game, and that's how you won TF2 wear. It's almost like a battle royal. I can't believe it, but the publisher's Devolver decided to, to publish Fall Guys, and it's essentially the same thing. You take all these bean dudes that are colorful, you pit them against each other, and go from anything from like jumping around on obstacles to literally a team versus team soccer game, and apparently that the team that loses that soccer game 
all of those people are eliminated. It's crazy. All the different mini games that they have for this. And it's, it, it sounds like it's right up my alley. And I hope you guys are psyched for it too. Because I think it's awesome. And like apparently you can unlock cosmetics and all that. Um, apparently the beta was featured on Twitch and it instantly shot up to like the top thing that was watched. And I'm not surprised. Because like, don't get me wrong. I like a good battle royal game. I've played the Apex Legends. I've played the, the Call of Duties and all that kind of stuff. And everybody plays it, but you get tired of the same shooty, shooty, boom kill thing whatever this seems like battle royal to its like most ridiculous form and i'm i'm super excited for it let me know in the comments if you're excited too don't be surprised if you see some gameplay on it in the future because it's gonna be insane i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you're just as excited as i am make sure to tell me in the comments i'd love to talk about this with you guys and have any of you played WarioWare or TF2Ware or anything like that? This game really sprung up out of nowhere. I had no idea that anybody was creating something like this, but I'm so glad it's happening. I'm so excited. Anyways, until next time, guys. I'll see you all later. Stay beautiful. Don't judge my shirt. I just got back from work, okay? Found the Game Boy that I played WarioWare on. I told you I wasn't lying.